A lot of people think that this store is full of tools that are crap, but the truth is that there are some good ones. In this video I'm going to show you a couple of tools that I would like to buy from them, but I haven't bought yet because I'm not sure if they are any good. So if you are familiar with any of the tools I'm going to show you in this video, please write me a comment at the bottom of the video because I really, really want to know what you think about it before I buy them. Even though this is not the best chainsaw in the world, I just need to cut a palm tree in the backyard. I have cut one palm tree already with a very, very tiny chainsaw and I was pretty miserable, so I was thinking that if I could spend uh, only like $29, $39, whatever this one costs with a coupon, uh, I will be able to make my life a little bit easier because I think my chainsaw is only 8 inch long and uh, I was pretty miserable cutting a big, big palm tree and I have one or two more that I have to cut. I don't want to make uh, too, too big investments and of course there's like bigger chainsaws out there including these uh, uh, two-stroke or four-stroke uh, powered ones but I don't want to spend $169 just to remove a tree and I'm only going to use it once. So this electric one, i always been eyeballing at um, Harbor Freight for the longest time and I've never really, really I never really, really uh, decided should I get it or not, is it going to be good or not, or should I just go and struggle with the other chainsaw that I had. Uh, taking the other three down was not the easiest thing in the world, but it was doable. Uh, I would just like to make my life a little bit easier, and if I could have a chainsaw in the process uh, left over to use it later on, why not? So if you have any experience as far as this chainsaw, if you used this chainsaw before, you, you, you think that it's going gonna, it's gonna to do the job that I need, um, uh, you have any reviews as far as it goes, uh, I would like to, to, to hear from you. So write them in the bottom of the video because I'm, I'm really, really looking at buying one of these and I would not want to make a mistake, that's for sure. You know you're going to need one of these power generators when the power goes out and everybody's going to run the stores to go and get one. I always wanted to get one. I'm not sure exactly if it's really, really worth the money. If you have any good experience with it, uh, you, you, you've been using it for a while and it works really, really well. Obviously, I don't want to spend a thousand dollars for a Honda, but uh, this Predator for $499 with a coupon, you could get it for $300 uh, sometimes or $350. Uh, looks pretty, pretty reasonable. So if you have any experience with it, please let me know. You know, for a cheap welder, a very, very small one that you have to move around, this seems to be a very, very nice one. A little bit pricey, uh, because I don't really have a very, very big use for it, but I would like to have one at one point if I have to weld something into a very, very uncomfortable position. So, $159, I'm not sure if it's it's uh, as good as maybe this one, that it's only $70. Uh, basically does the same thing, it's just a little bit bigger, and the size really not going to make that big of a difference. Um, I uh, always looked at these and I never really knew if I should buy one. I did buy this one already, so I already have this one. This is a um, wire feeder, like a MIG. Uh, so this one uh, works really, really well. This is a flux wire, I'm sorry. This is a flux wire inverter. Uh, it works really, really well for me. I build a couple of things around. I, I welded uh, thick or thin uh, steel plates and and everything seems to be working very, very well. So uh, if you have any experience about the previous ones that I showed you, I would like to know. As far as this uh, power washer goes, I already found one at Lowe's. Uh, for the longest time I was looking at this one, but I found one at Lowe's for $79. Seems to be exactly the same shape and size. It has a special attachment so you could uh, wash the car too. So this Portland uh, is a little bit actually more expensive at uh, Harbor Freight. I was actually very, very surprised because I got mine from, uh, from Lowe's for $79. It works really, really well. I've been washing the car. It's electric. It, it does all the things that it needs to do. And um, as I said, this one is actually not that interesting for me anymore and of course Harbor Freight is a place you're gonna go and buy a level that is as tall as you I'm six feet tall and this is about six feet tall uh, you could get it for about $20 uh, absolutely amazing uh, what they could uh, sell you these days for $20 I know it's just a piece of uh, aluminum uh, bent into a certain shape but still uh, if you want to find one at Harbor Freight yeah $20 six foot so if you want to leave me a comment at the bottom of the video, uh, especially about that uh, chainsaw, which I find it um, to be the next item on my purchase uh, list, I would really, really like to know what you think about it. Uh, also check out my other videos, I have a bunch of uh, videos with tools that I have actually reviewed, uh, try to help people uh, from Harbor Freight. Uh, I'm going to put some links here on the left and on the right. Uh, so if you like them, uh, I would really, really appreciate a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel, and uh, don't forget to leave me that comment. Uh, I really, really want to know what's going on with that chainsaw. Thanks for watching. Thank you.